Four-year-old runs out of McDonald's bathroom in tears, staff calls police. Tears were running down a four-year-old's face after she rushed out of a McDonald's bathroom, much to her mother's horror. Then, her mom saw something on her little girl's leg, making the entire ordeal even worse. Kaya Langmead was visiting a McDonald's over lunchtime on a Thursday afternoon when her mom, Nicole, decided to let the four-year-old little girl venture into the bathroom alone. We was at McDonald's and mom let me go to the toilet like a big girl, Kaya recalled. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be a good experience for the growing girl. Believing Kaya was old enough to go to the bathroom without her, Nicole decided to wait patiently outside the restroom. But just before Kaya entered, Nicole saw two teenage girls leaving the facilities, laughing. Only later would she realize that their giggles were an ominous sign of things to come when her daughter returned from using the toilet in complete agony. These two girls came out of the bathroom laughing, Nicole recalled. They were probably in their early teens. I didn't think too much of it and Kaya went into the toilet, she said. When Kaya re-emerged from the restroom, however, it was obvious something had gone wrong while she was inside. A short while later she came out in tears, Nicole explained. Crying, the four-year-old rushed out of the bathroom and into her mother's arms. As tears ran down her little face, Kaya told her mom that something had hurt her butt. Nicole took a look at her daughter's backside and discovered the skin had been ripped from her legs, leaving her red and raw. Then, Kaya explained to her mom that she had become stuck to the seat and had to rip herself from it. I was completely shocked and I then checked Kaya over to see how badly she had been marked, Nicole said. My daughter was left in tears and the skin was ripped off the back of her legs, she explained. She came out in tears and told me that she had become stuck to the seat, Nicole added. Kaya said something had hurt her bum, but it never crossed my mind it would be glue. That's exactly what the mom found, however, when she went into the restroom to investigate. I thought maybe the seat had moved or something, but when we checked it over there was glue everywhere, Nicole said. The two giggling teens, who had left the bathroom laughing, had put superglue on the toilet seat at McDonald's in some kind of sadistic prank. Of course, no one else found it funny, especially not Nicole or Kaya, who had a painful reminder of what had happened after her skin was torn from her little body. It took five days for the glue left on Kaya's skin to come off, but she still remained red, raw, and emotionally scarred. To the two young blonde girls that thought it would be hilarious to put superglue on the disabled and baby-changing toilet in McDonald's, I just want you to know that I'm still having to console my four-year-old daughter who was unfortunate enough to use the toilet after your little prank," Nicole wrote on Facebook. The backs of her legs and bum are red, raw after the glue had stuck her to the seat and she has been in tears on and off since," Nicole furthered. I hope you're proud of yourselves. Your families must be so proud. The McDonald's staff alerted police, who reviewed CCTV footage of the incident and set out to find the girls responsible. The two pranksters, one with long blonde hair and the other with shoulder-length brown hair, were eventually tracked down. Following injuries to a four-year-old girl at the McDonald's, police identified two juvenile girls who were subsequently interviewed by police, a police spokesman said. Both apologized to Nicole for what they had done to Kaya Longmead. The two girls immediately accepted what they had done, were sorry, and have apologized to the victim's mother for the upset caused to her and her daughter, the spokesman furthered, adding that authorities had subsequently taken appropriate action against the offenders. Police refused to say, however, what that action was. Police have been in constant contact with the victim's mother throughout the investigation and she is happy with how this has been dealt with and the outcome, the police spokesman said. This matter is now closed, and given the age of the people involved in this case, we will not provide any further comment relating to this matter. The police might not have anything further to say about the incident, but social media users most certainly did. The consensus was that the girls should have received a harsh punishment for their prank, such as having their own backside superglued to a public toilet seat so that they would get the message that their prank wasn't funny but rather painful and dangerous. Kaya Langmead's story serves as a reminder that evil walks among us, so check your seat before you sit down. You don't know what some cruel person could have done. Keep a closer eye on your children. Yes, a child should be able to use the restroom without being injured, but sadly, that's not the reality we live in today. There are people who intentionally seek to harm others, and shockingly, they think it's funny.